sink which have clubs and garages and uh, petrol station oil den delta and engine are going down all will have to be demolished to pave way for the road hit some footbridge So this section of uh, Athi River will be the last part that they're going to work on. They've gone all the way to Machakos Junction to finish up everything, put it, put the asphalt in readiness to come back to Athi River because there's a lot of demolition that's going to be happening here. So many buildings that are going to be brought down just to pave way for this uh, road. So I'm going to show you even place where they've done the culvert for the rainwater to pass so you can be able to see where the direction of the road this is the road culvert uh, water is going to pass through so already that petrol station BE energy will have to move six meters in and then all these other buildings just in front of me will all go down I can't take a uh, video of all of them, so I'm going to take pictures of them and then post them. So, that's what they've done. That's ready. Everything else comes down. We are opposite uh, Green Park. Green Park Estates. Now this was an existing road that now We'll go and join the the Stone Arty Bridge, the new Stone Arty Bridge. So this will be the other side of the dual carriageway. Where you see they've uh, graded uh, uh, the, the the soil. They intend to do service lanes to at least service go downs that are going to come up on that other side so remember I said there's, there's going to be eight kilometers of uh, service roads that are going to be done all the way from Lolongo from Lolongo to Ati River, Ati River all the way to Machakos Junction which is 20 kilometers away so I'm going uh, right next to the Ati Stone Ati Bridge This is the Stony Ati Bridge, the new bridge for the dual highway. So as you can remember, not too uh, recently, uh, when it rained, this other bridge was totally submerged with, wa with water, with rainwater that also went and seeped into this estate called Green Park Estate. So at least what they've done is they've raised this bridge roughly a meter and a half. Yeah. And it's, it's already complete. That's the new bridge. Then it comes and joins the dual highway all the way to Mlolongo. Now, as I said, the service lane will only be eight kilometers. The reason why I'm saying that is because the government shelled off plans to do service lane from Mlolongo to Machakos, being that when they tried to acquire some uh, uh, land, uh, Kenyans being businessmen that they are, decided to double some even triple the prices, some even quadruple. So the government shelled off that plan. So the government decided that they'll only use the service road that covers the the road reserve. Anything other than that, Achaikai, as they would say. 
So that's the new Stony Athi Bridge. This bridge will just uh, serve uh, for vehicles that want to turn and head back because there will be no other interchange. Same as Thikaro, no other interchange until you get to these overpasses. That's when you can turn back and either come back to Nairobi or head back to Mombasa, depending on which route you're, you're using. This is the last overpass before you get to Machakos Junction. So what you're seeing is uh, a very glossy layer that I've put on top of the, they call it the GCS, which is Grounded Crushed Stabilized Cement. Once they put that layer, then they come and put something called the MC30 priming. After the MC30 priming, which is this glossy uh, layer that you're seeing. This helps in uh, at least making it waterproof. Then there's the DBM, which is called the Dense Based Macadamia. After that, they come and pour or place the asphalt so this will have three layers of 50 centimeters uh, thick of asphalt all the way What that truck is doing is pouring the MC30 priming. Yes. And then this one protects any waterfall. Mm -hmm. penetration. And then after this is so after this, when this one has penetrated, then we'll come and put the DBM. Yeah. Then after DBM, come and put as well. So we are one kilometer away from uh, Machakos Junction. This is how far these guys have reached. So we are yet, they are yet to do all that. So this is yet to get the other three levels of uh, bitumen. It's 
like cement. It's like a lay a very hard layer of cement. There's a massive hotel coming up right opposite where the dueling is being done. And I must say this this is probably the the end point to where the dueling has, has reached. Just not too far from here is where the QMV junction is or Machakos junction. If you can uh, manage to see on the background, this road has gone and joined now the old the old highway. I'm guessing or my guess is that since there are so many petrol stations to the right and so many buildings compensating them would be harder than just moving this road to the extreme left yeah so after this part is where now Bechtel which is an American company is going to come and cover 473 kilometers of pure lovely <laughs> uh, highway it's going to be an expressway all the way to Mombasa guys will be clock clocking 120 kph and above so if you have your old car at home or a new car it's I think it's about about time you start tuning it so Bechtel are the the ones who are going to, to do it. Last time I checked it was around 280 billion then it came up to around 530 billion. The last time I checked again it, it came up to around 580 billion Kenya shillings. So that's that's the progress report for this dueling side of uh, Machakos. It's it's 20 kilometers from uh, from Ateriva. So, I guess I can say goodbye for now. On to the next project. So, thanks a lot, guys. Like my, pay, like, like my channel. Comment if you can. And you can always hit me up and tell me where the next project is. I can come and cover it. So, yeah. God bless Kenya, guys. God bless Kenya.